Hi, this is Dave from Automation Devices, and we're going to try to do some more troubleshooting today. One of the things that we're going to simulate is if a customer has put a bowl together with a controller, or maybe they've had to replace the controller for some various reason, and they go to turn it on, and they discover it's not working. And we can clearly see that the bowl is not driving parts. I can feel the bowl. I can feel it vibrating. I can hear it running just a little bit, but I'm getting nothing. Even with my controller set at 100%, no matter where I move the dial, I'm getting nothing. One of the simplest things that we can check is, is it's quite possible that inside the controller one of the switches is set for a different setting. And the one that we would want to be looking at is whether it's set for 60 pulses or 120 pulses. So the first thing we want to do is just unplug it real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take off the cover. Now if you can look inside here, if you look at this section you can see here's a 60 and over here's a 120. So this switch right at the very top is the one that switches it back and forth from 60 to 120. And I know it's probably hard to see but this switch is currently set at 120. So I'm going to take my pencil and move it over to 60. And what we're going to do is we're going to test and see if that was the cause of our problem. So let's put the cover back on. Now before I put the screws back on, we're going to just test and make sure that that was actually the correct fix. So I'm going to plug the unit back in. I'm going to turn my knob down to zero before I turn it on. Let's turn it on and let's see what happens here. I'm going to shut this off now. And this is a perfect example of getting a controller in that was set at one setting and simply moving it over to the one that this particular bowl needs was an easy enough fix. And sometimes this is all that's needed, is making that switch. Thanks.